Well, a very pleasant good afternoon to you, everyone. Hi, this is Amber Alert, founder of Pastor Charles Williams. And this is a very special broadcast, remembering the life and the legacy of three-year-old, but would be five-year-old by now, Camille Cupcake McKinney from Birmingham, Alabama. Many of you will remember the story, it was 2019, that uh, little Camille McKinney was at a birthday party and uh, playing out in the yard and someone snatched, someone drove by and snatched little Camille McKinney from the party. And for the next 10 days, Camille's images and Camille's um, smile and everything gripped people across this nation for 10 days for 10 days and so today I just want to uh, talk just a little bit about I want to talk just a little bit about some of the positive takeaways that we can take away from this tragic situation. We've all cried tears and I cried tears earlier today preparing for this broadcast. But in the midst of a bad thing, there is some positive, uh, some positive positivity um, that came from this situation. One is I have never been more proud of my people, those living there in the Tom Brown project, uh, what we call the projects. Never been more prouder of you all. You all showed the nation from the projects that we care about our kids too. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. And the way in which you all responded to helping to look, helping the authorities to look for uh, Camille was textbook. What you all did showed the nation how to come together when children in their community are snatched off the streets. We saw men in the community taking turns, staying up all night, staying up in, in cars in the parking lot, watching traffic into and out of the projects. Young men taking the lead and looking and searching for Camille, looking up under cars and looking down manhole covers and looking in different places and so forth. I mean, you guys and girls, you guys and girls, y'all took, I mean, y'all took the initiative and through doing so, you showed the nations that just because we live in the projects don't think we don't care about our children. What y'all showed us in your actions toward Camille is that we care for our children too. From Ned the Wino to Sally the Streetwalker to that young man rolling the joint and, okay, they all participated in caring and searching for Camille Cupcake McKinney. That's one takeaway, is that if we learned anything, communities stay together. In the words of Marvin Gaye, let's stay together. The second thing we learned from this situation is that April, King, uh, uh, Camille's mother, God bless you, April. God bless you. And to her dad, God bless you, sir. Here's why I'm saying that. It's because when Camille was discovered missing, 
and authorities needed a current picture of Camille to get out to the to the people and to the media you didn't have an old picture of Camille okay you didn't give them you didn't give uh, the law enforcement agency a a two-year-old picture for a three-year-old girl you gave them current pictures you had relevant pictures ready to give to the authorities now that might not mean much to some people but as Amber Alert founder I have worked enough cases to where a lot of people when you ask them for a picture they'll give you a picture of uh, of a five-year-old child but the child that's missing is eight so in honor I'm asking today that in honor of Camille Cupcake McKinney's life I'm asking everyone who will watch this broadcast to pause and take a picture of your child or of your niece or of your nephew so that just in case authorities have to ask you for a picture you'll have a current picture no picture in this day of digital technology no picture should be older should be older than three months no picture should be older than three months I know often when I deal with families direct when I deal with families direct, I ask them for about six or seven pictures so that we can do a slideshow presentation on behalf of their missing child. So it's important. Thank you, April, and thank you, Camille's dad, for showing the community, the state, and the nation in staying in a steady rate, in a steady uh, posture of preparedness. And then my last point, the last point is this. Camille, her life, her smile, her beauty, everything about her, Camille showed us one more very important message, and I don't want you to miss it. Camille may have lived in the projects, but on the day that she drew her last breath on earth and her first breath in heaven, Camille showed us that even though you're in the projects, you can go from the projects to the palace. What do you mean by that? What, what, what do you, what, Mr. Founder, what do you mean by that? You can go from the projects to the palace. Jesus said it this way. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you and will come again and receive you unto myself. Can I announce to somebody? Don't focus on how she lived, but focus on how she is living. Oh man, that's some good stuff right there. Don't focus on how she lived, but focus on how she is living, present tense. Because to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So to the family, please stay encouraged. And on behalf of each and every person that has anything to do with the Amber Alert concept, please know and express our deepest condolences. And please know that we did everything that we possibly could to keep this baby girl's image out there until she was found. Please know you are in our thoughts and in our prayers.
to the community, to the village there at Tom Brown uh, Projects there in Birmingham, Alabama. Stay together. Watch our kids. And don't discount anybody. Because when it comes to our kids missing, everybody matters. The dope dealer matters. The reefer smoking bar matters. The street walkers matter. They all matter. Because here's what I do know. They look at Camille as one of their kids too. Might be doing drugs, but they look at Camille as one of their kids too. Might be rolling reefer, but they looked at, at Camille as one of their kids too. She might be walking the streets, but she looked at, at Camille as one of their kids too. When a child goes missing, a village has to spring into action. And for 10 days, for 10 days in October, Camille Cupcake McKinney garnered the attention of the nation and the world. And as, after she garnered their attention, I believe she was showing us that you can go from the projects to the palace in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye. She's okay, y'all. She's okay. She is in the presence of God. In the projects, she may have been hurt, snatched and hurt. But in the palace, she will never be hurt again. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Once again, my name is Pastor Charles Williams, and I am the founder and the creator of the concept known and used all over the world today as the Amber Alert here in the United States of America, Amber Alert EU throughout all of Europe, and the Child Rescue Alert in other parts of the world. God bless you. We love you. And thank you for this time, and thank you for this space. Now, back to Jasmine. Bye-bye.